make chicken and broil. So we're gonna poach the chicken right in the broil, okay? New method here, never done it before. Just was walking around the kitchen and I was like, you know what? Poached chicken tenders in broth should be delicious. Let's give it a shot. So you can see what I'm doing here. I took a whole piece of kale. I chopped off the top, okay? And now I'm taking the stem out here and just taking these leaves off. So you can just do that with your hand. You can just literally rip it right off, like with your hand, you see? You don't even need a knife, or you can do it with a knife. Either way, okay, you wanna get it off, just like that. I'm doing it with one hand here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm gonna save this for an another use. But for this poached chicken, this chicken and brodo, I'm gonna cook these in the brodo. I'm gonna serve the chicken, uh, uh, the chicken tenders right on top of these kale leaves. I'm gonna chop this up and put it inside the brodo. This was just for an example. I'm just gonna use, so for two chicken tenders, I'm gonna use two spikes of kale, just like that. Bam, boom, zing. And I'm just fucking spitballing here, man. I'm just making this up as I go. I just, you know, like I, I cut the chicken, I looked at the tenderloins and I said, holy shit, the brodo I have is amazing. What if I just did, what if I just poached them? Cause you know, tenderloins, they, they cook so quickly and they're so tender. If you poach them to a perfect temperature, okay, they're quite delicious. And if they're in the brodo, that little bit of saltiness, I'm gonna definitely make the brodo a little salty and get some Parmigiano cheese in there as, as well and serve it right over these pieces of kale and then more Parmigiano on top and anoint with some extra virgin olive oil. Bam, boom, zing, fuck. I'm gonna use the stems too. I split them in half and now I'm gonna chop them super fine and I'm gonna put them into the broth also. It's gonna be amazing. Why not? Use it all. So three, basically three stems of black kale utilizing 100% for this dish. He's a man so I got the chicken liver. Bam, boom, zing. I'm gonna throw it into this brodo. I'm gonna chop it, and I'm gonna work it right into the broth with the chicken tenders and the kale. It's gonna be amazing. Totally winging this shit. Never made this before. Super sharp cleaver. Slice it up first. Slices. And dice it. Just keep chopping it. As long as your knife is nice and sharp and nice and heavy, you can go through it very easily. Chop it super fine. Leave the fat in there, you crazy? The fat's perfect. So of course we're gonna start with the so of course we're gonna start with the killer brodo. Look at this brodo. And that's probably all we need. We don't need a lot. That's plenty right there. It's just enough so we can float the chicken tenders in it. Maybe a little more. Yeah, that's bad. Why not? A little bit more. That be you also mad. So here's that brodo and you can see already it's already melted. There's no gelatin, look. The gelatin's there, but as soon as it comes up to room temperature, boom. We're bringing this up to heat. I'm gonna bring it up up to a boil. We're gonna get the liver in there, and we're gonna get the stems. Man walks down the Kale stems. I'm gonna pick out these greens over here. Man walks down the street. Perfect. The stems will go in as soon as it comes to a boil, which is gonna be very soon. So we're utilizing all this stuff. Bam, boom, zing. Here we go, up to a boil. Get the stems in there. Just like that. Let it boil nice. We're gonna get chicken livers in there as well. Take it out with my hand. Blow, man. You gotta have blow. There's only one way to get blow. Blow comes from with big. Oof. Blow comes from study. Blow comes from there we go. Boiling it down. I'm gonna go a little bit longer to make sure that those stems are nicely cooked. What am I looking for? It's always the most important. Now we're gonna add in the green. Like that. Put the chicken right on top. Just 
Now we're going to go on a low heat. Okay. And we're going to cover it. Connect yourself to the fish. It's like connect yourself to the So it's not going to steam it. Now, I'm going to add in all of it. Feel it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Cover it again. First, I'm going to flip it. while it's simmering. Can you flow with meth? Now I'm going to melt some black salt right on top of this, right from the top down. There's no salt in that brodo, no salt in the chicken whatsoever, and now I'm going to put it from the top down. going to pick the whole thing up, the whole piece of kale and the chicken together, right on the plate, boom, just like that, and then we're going to finish the sauce on the burner. just like that, now we're going to cook it way down, add some more cheese to it, Yummy. Great. Let's try it. Looks very homey, huh? It's all kale, chicken, parmigiano, and chicken broth. Here we go. Let's try it all together. Look at that chicken. See the black salt that melted into the top? Let's give it. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Delicious. The chicken's so tender. Mm. Wow. Incredible flavor and just super soft. The chicken is just so tender. So nice. I'm definitely gonna do this. So, look at this, perfectly cooked. And designed to bite. Yo.